Greetings friends, I'm Erin Hollander and today I would like to share with you the dangers of EMF exposure, the silent killer. Most of us are used to the conveniences of modern life, but few of us are aware of the possible health risks presented by the gadgets that make our world work. Did you know that all of our personal electronic devices like laptops, cell phones, tablets, emit electromagnetic radi radiation, or EMR, or electromagnetic fields, EMF, that are comprised of extremely low radio frequencies and thermal radiation, all of which are potentially harmful. Gamma rays, X-rays, and UV are also types of EMR. While undetectable to the eye, scientists have proposed that electromagnetic radiation may pose serious health effects ranging from childhood leukemia to brain tumors, genetic damage, brain dysfunction, sleep disorders, and headaches. Today, more than 2 billion cell phone users are being exposed to the dangers of EMRs. Cell phone radiation can penetrate an inch or so into an adult's skull. Government regulators and the cell phone industry refuse to admit that these dangers exist. The public is largely ignorant of the dangers of cell phones, but we don't have to be. There are many books on this subject. Thousands of research papers on this topic support that cell phones are interfering with our body's frequencies and causing disruptions. But you say, I love my cell phone. <laughs> what am I gonna do without my cell phone? No, they're very handy. The good news is, is that you can purchase a safe sleeve for your cell phone. It has a card in it, and that card blocks all magnetic field coming out. So when you have a safe sleeve on your phone and you're holding it up, holding your phone up to your ear, you're not getting any EMFs and that's great news. Here are some other tips to keep in mind. Number one, for less EMF exposure, make sure there is no technology in your bedroom because it can interfere with proper rest. So if you use your phone as an alarm clock, leave the phone in the hallway or as far as possible from your body as you can. Number two, please be cautious of young children and their exposure. Cell phone radiation can penetrate farther into a child's head. It goes halfway through a five-year-old's brain and almost a third of the way into a 10-year-old's brain. So please, please do your part in protecting your children. If possible, avoid wearing a phone at your waist, which exposes the hip bones to radiation. 80% of red blood cells are actually formed in the hip bones. Number four, avoid putting your phone in your breast pocket. Put your phone down when you aren't using it and try to use the speaker function or earbuds so that it doesn't have to be right beside your ear. Remember friends that God alone can supply the answers to all of our problems and he gives us what is best. We must do our part and put our trust in him. And so I invite you to do that today and experience his peace. Jesus says in John 14, 27, peace I leave with you my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You know, friends, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.